Welcome back to the channel. So today I wanted to talk about blessing our rings. So like I did with our hand fasting blessing, I'm just going to walk you through the ritual. What you are going to need will be listed in the description, so that way you can just kind of quickly reference it. So to begin, of course, create your sacred space. However you do that, typically most people will include some kind of space cleansing, so either with smoke, spray, or just a visualization. Then there's the calling in of the elements and calling in the divine. It may also include circle castings, so you're going to light a love candle. So for most people, for weddings, it's going to be a white candle, but you could also include red or some of your wedding colors. So you're going to light the candle and say, My beloved and I are set to wed on whatever the day. I have brought his or her ring so that it may be blessed and prepared for our marriage to be. And then you are going to take that ring and do a little bit of a reflection and just kind of focusing on some stuff. So ask yourself the following questions. What emotions do you want your future partner, husband, wife to feel each time they look at the ring on their hand? What magical properties have been chosen for this ring? We talked about that not too long ago. What stone, design, material, so forth. And what does a successful marriage look like for the two of you? And then once you have a clear answer for the previous questions, say the following. Circles are a sacred symbol representing much. On this night, we ask that this ring represent our upcoming marriage and partnership. May it be strong and never broken. We have chosen the stone, so in my case would be sapphire, to bring in the energies of, I'll just use ours as an example, so love, lasting commitment, and happiness to our marriage. The band is made out of, and I did look it up, both of ours is made out of white gold. To bring in the energies of, and again, using ours, commitment, self-confidence, balance of solar and lunar energies, love, and happiness. Visualize these energies being infused into the ring along with any other blessings you wish to give your future marriage and your future husband, wife, partner. Then, take an incense that is your partner's favorite. Pass the ring through the smoke three times or in the shape of your sacred symbol, such as a pentacle, and then say the following. May the element of air bless our marriage. May we always have clear communication. Pass the ring over the candle and in a similar fashion as the incense. Then say, may the element of fire bless our marriage. May we always have desire and passion. Then take a cup or bowl of water that is preferably moon charged. I am blessing ours with like the day before the full moon. So like just that very last bit of waxing energy, but pretty close to the full moon too. Submerge the ring and then say, may the element of water bless our marriage. May we always have love and compassion. Next, you're going to need a bowl of love herbs. I did a video recently about that. I just kind of used pantry ones. This does include a little bit more specialty. Not horribly much, but a little bit. So for us, I'm going to be using the rose petals that I used at our hand fasting cord blessing ritual, rosemary and lavender, and specifically ones that we have grown ourselves at our home. Place the ring in the herbs and say the following. May the element of earth bless our marriage. May we always grow together. And then lastly, place your ring on your altar pentacle or what other like sacred symbol that's kind of your main thing that you typically have on your altar. And then say the following. May the element of spirit bless our marriage. May we always honor our individuality as well as our union. And then take the ring and visualize all the love and everything you've done in the ritual pouring into this ring. You may wish to include the energies of certain deities, sun and moon, past and future goals that you've had together, whatever, all going into this ring. Continue to focus until you feel the ring is beaming with this energy and then say the following. May this ring always remind, partner's name, of my love and commitment so long as love remains. And then, of course, whenever I do any sort of magical workings, I always give an offering. And for this one in particular, I felt that birdseed was appropriate because we're love birds. But also, apples are a really great offering to do since they do represent love. And then, of course, close up your sacred space however you do so. And then do your grounding. So that might include a meditation, having a specialty drink, red wine, cinnamon tea, apple cider are really great options for this particular ritual. And then of course a specialty food such as cake, cookies, or a piece of chocolate is always good. And then dispose of the waters and herbs outside if possible, and then either burn the candle completely or continue using it in your hand fasting preparations. I hope this has been helpful and gave you some ideas of how to bless your rings. Obviously do this before <laughs> you get married. And so for us, we are doing this Two, moon, two full moons before we get married. And so it'll end up being this week that we are actually blessing our rings. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. I do post every single day. And if you'd like to check out my Patreon, I do post pretty regularly over there. Patreon.com slash Nightwillowcrafts. And until next time, thank you so much for watching and blessed be.